Hello, my name is Mr Winter and I'm Deputy Head Teacher here at Farringdon Community College. Amongst some of my other responsibilities of safeguarding and dealing with the pastoral team of school, I manage the Year 6 transfer process. Transferring 260 students from over 20 primary schools to FCC is a complex process. It involves numerous communication between me, your parents, class teachers and other people that know you well. This video is designed to help you talk through that process so you're aware of, the pro of what is going on over the next few weeks and months. Ordinarily, at this time of year, I will be visiting you in your primary school. Unfortunately, due to the school closures, I'm not able to do that at this time. Over the next few weeks and months, I'll be sending you a number of videos like this from me and other school staff that will help you manage the way that we start at FCC in September. So what has happened so far? Well, your parents have applied for a place through Oxfordshire County Council for a secondary school place and you have been allocated a place at FCC to start in September 2020. We need to find out lots about you, so we have been in contact with several different people to gain an understanding of your strengths and your weaknesses so that we can build upon those when you move to uh, Farrington Community College. We've been in contact with some of your school staff, your Year 6 teachers, any support staff that may help you. Maybe the head teacher of your primary school has given us an insight. And they have been telling us things about you, such as your grades, any difficulties, any strengths, or any support that you may need, as well as information on who in the school that you get on with and any good friendships. We've also written to your parents and guardians who have given us their say. Finally, we have also written to you earlier this term. We're still happy to hear from you if you've not managed to get in contact with us yet. It's not too late to write to us. It's really nice to hear from you, telling us about yourself, maybe things that you find difficult or your things that you're worried about, or even your strengths and pastimes and things that you like to do outside of school, perhaps teams and things that you're also involved with. Over the next few weeks, we'll be sending a number of videos like this not just from me, but from other staff that will be key staff for you at FCC. Ordinarily, you would meet those staff in school. At this time, that's not possible, although we do hope to see some of you at least before the summer. We'll continue to collect information from you. We'll be having conversations with people in your school, your six teachers in particular, as over the next few weeks we have the rather unenviable task of putting you into nine mixed ability tutor groups. Now those tutor groups will be completely mixed. They will have a mixture of boys and girls. They will have students from all different primary schools. They will have a mixture of abilities, people that are good at sport, people that are good at maths, people that are good at English. And we'll also consider other factors such as friendships and language preferences. We do try to make sure that everybody has somebody that they know, if that's possible. However, as I have said many years to primary school uh, children, year six children, the, 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 the staff at school here would, would probably rather you weren't in a big group of friends within each class as you concentrate better. However, I'm sure if I asked you, you would rather be in a group of you know, a number of your friends. So we're trying to create a balance if we can. I'm hoping that some of you will be able to visit FCC before the end of the summer term, although this may not be all of you this year. The unknown. As it says on the slide, and as I've previously mentioned, unfortunately, we do not think that the year six transfer process will take place as normal. This is a real shame. It's a really exciting time and the process is there to allay some of the fears and worries that you may have. It's our job, the staff at the school, to try and allay those fears, even in these uncertain times. So it is unlikely that we will be able to uh, host the Year 6 evening, where we would often have nearly 260 students in the hall with 260 parents. That's unlikely that can take place due to the ban on large gatherings and even reducing it down to a much smaller scale 
it looks very, very tricky at this stage. Equally, we do not know if transfer days will take place as normal. Again, unfortunately, we think that this is unlikely. Normally, you would spend two days coming to FCC in July and uh, finding your way around, meeting some of your teachers. At, at school at the moment, we are making plans for year 10 to come into school in very small batches of 20 to 25 students. So again, we do not think it's going to be possible before the summer to have the transfer days as normal. Again, regarding September, we're not yet sure what that will look like. We're not yet sure if all students will be returning at the same time. However, we are sure that at the beginning of September, we will have year seven students in school in some way, either all of you or some of you, and we will have a transfer day type process at the beginning of the school year. If we make further plans over the next few weeks and months, I will keep you informed about these, these activities and how we are going to replan them in a different format. I hope that you're all really excited about joining us here at FCC in September. Some of you will also be nervous and worried. It is our job as a staff team here at FCC to make you feel settled and welcome when you arrive. There will be many staff that will be dedicated to helping you settle in. Your head of year, your form tutor and the Year 7 Pastoral Support Assistant will work alongside others from the Special Needs Department, the AIM team and we also have a school nurse. When you get to FCC, you'll be issued with a planner like this one. And when I normally come to the primary schools and speak to year six children, I bring a planner and I show them it and I show them what, what it's for. So I thought I'd do the same today. You're getting an exclusive here because that picture on the screen is the cover of next year's planner. And nobody has seen that yet apart from me. Um, so you will get a, given a book like that, um, which has lots and lots of pages in it. The first 15 to 20 pages are pages that tell you about the school. They tell you where the rooms are by the way of a map. They tell you the different school rules. There's a place to glue your timetable in or write your timetable in. And there's lots of information about homework and uniform and how to plan your time and some useful information and web links that you might use as you, as you make your way through school. There is then a double page for each week of the school year. And we encourage you to write your homework down in this planner so that you can tick it off as you go through so that you can get yourself organised. We also use a website called Show My Homework where most staff will be posting homework tasks and worksheets on that website that will help you again plan your time. As we've used Show My Homework more, some students don't write as much down in their planner as they have in previous years. They might write themselves a little note when the teacher says that homework's being set. They might write themselves a note that says maths see show my homework um, due uh, this Friday. And that will just be a, act as a little reminder for them to go on to show my homework when they get home. So we're happy for you to use your planner in that way. There is a place for your parents or guardians to sign the planner each week. And they're signing really to say that they've seen your planner, they've seen how much homework's being set, and that they're confident that you've had a good go at that. When I visit Year 6 in their primary schools, they often have lots of questions that they like to ask. And in the absence of doing so at this time, I've summarised the four key questions that is the most recurring questions that I've, that I've heard. The first day. Now, people are often worried about coming up on your first day, seeing another thousand students in school that we will have. And rest assured, on your first day, it will be very small scale. It's likely that there will just be Year 7 in school. We've done that for the past five, six, seven years, and we'll certainly be doing it this year. It may be even smaller, depending on the current uh, school closure status. So don't worry about your first day. We'll meet in the hall, and we will talk, talk you through and walk you through the rest of the day. Uniform. The uniform at secondary school is very different to primary school. Uh, you will be required to wear a, a shirt and tie. The tie is a clip-on, uh, a blazer, and uh, either navy blue trousers or navy blue skirt with plain black footwear and navy socks. Um, there's a leaflet that explains about the uniform, which is in a pack which has been sent to your parents about how to buy it and where they can get it from. 
Homework. The hot topic of homework. Do you get lots? When's it due in? What happens if you don't give it in? They're the questions I get asked. Well, we feel homework's really important here at FCC to complement the learning that goes on in class. On average, I'd expect in Year 7 you to have about 30 minutes of homework per subject, perhaps per week or per fortnight, depending on the, on the class. That means that you might have, over the course of a week, two to three hours of work to do at home. If you plan your time wisely and use your planner and you show my homework, you won't have it all building up. But there are some students that may be a little disorganised and need to, need to organise their time a bit, a bit wiser as we move through Year 7. Finally, clubs. When coming to a school of this size, you get lots of opportunities. Whether they're sports clubs, science clubs, art club, reading, lots of different clubs which you'll be able to take part in. And soon after arriving, we'll produce a booklet for you that will explain all of the clubs, how you can access them, and when and when they are. If you've got any questions you'd like me to answer, feel free to email these to me at the address that is on the correspondence that I've sent to you and your parents over the last few weeks. I hope that you found this video to be useful and reassure you a little about the transfer process to FCC. I'll be making more of these uh, over the next few weeks, including a tour of the school. I look forward to seeing you all soon.